China has assembled the world's largest single-unit floating wind turbine. The area of its blades is the same as seven football pitches. Once operational, it's expected to generate enough power each year to run more than 4,000 average American homes. Chinese universities are catching up with American institutions in computer science when measured on United States-based ranking systems, and it marks a major improvement in a field dominated by American colleges. In the CS rankings list, uh, Xinhua has been top since 2021, ahead of uh, Carnegie Mellon, and this year, Shanghai Jiao Tong, Zhejiang, and Peking University round off the top five. The top ten is now evenly split between China and the United States. Xinhua also tops the U.S. News Best Global Universities Index for Computer Science. Six of the top ten are Chinese institutions. Stanford in this listing is highest ranked American university at number eight. In another set of rankings based on publications and patents, Chinese universities take all top ten spots. Stanford is ranked at 11th. However, U.S. universities still lead in areas such as algorithms and cryptography. And in reputation-based lists like those compiled by the Times Higher Education Supplement and QS, Peking and Xinhua rank 12th and 13th in computer science. Zhang Zhiwei is president and chief economist at Pinpoint Asset Management. Welcome back to the program. Great to see you. There are many university rankings tables to uh, be had with many differing uh, league tables. But broadly, uh, what is the significance uh, of this uh, rise in Chinese institutions? Yeah, you're right. I, I think, you know, uh, across all these um, sort of uh, academic league tables, I think there has been a consistent trend in recent years. I would say in past maybe five, ten years, the trend has been developing that um, the Chinese universities ranking, particularly in some of these uh, science and technology subjects, have been rising uh, pretty fast. And I think the perception that, you know, the, the Chinese universities are uh, lagging behind uh, with a pretty wide gap uh, with, you know, compared to the U.S. institutions. I, that, I think that perception uh, is uh, increasingly clear that that is misleading. Uh, it is a very important message for developer, for investors as well as policymakers. I wonder how is China's tech boom in things like artificial intelligence, um, big data, and hardware even influence this uh, trajectory of its uh, rising success of its universities? Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. I think, uh, you know, particularly this year, uh, there are examples like, uh, for instance, after uh, DeepSeek was released, that uh, people realized, oh, such a powerful tool co could be developed by you know, local uh, students and researchers. Um, most of the research team, I think, at DeepSeek, they were, you know, educated uh, locally by Zhejiang University that you mentioned earlier, so that, you know, people started to realize that um, the, uh, they should, I mean, the, the educators, uh, they, they want to allocate more resources to those uh, tech-related uh, topics. And we've seen, you know, top universities in China are doing exactly that. They, they increase uh, the budgets for, for tech-related topics. And the best students, they want to go to study tech instead of uh, finance, uh, like, uh, you know, five, ten years ago. I wonder if more international students will consider uh, China as a study destination. There's still a language barrier to deal with, isn't there, for so many people? Right. Right. But, you know, there are um, some universities, particularly along the coast. Uh, certainly, you know, Hong Kong University have been very popular for international students uh, in the past. And I think that popularity uh, is rising in, in recent years. And there are also some universities like in Shenzhen, in, in Shanghai. I understand increasingly they are very, uh, you know, open and uh, very friendly with international students. And uh, we've seen, you know, more international students applying to those schools as well. Zhang Jiwei, great to see you, and thanks so much for coming back on the program again. Zhang Jiwei, uh, President and Chief Economist at Pinpoint Asset Management.